Hello internet, my name is Ace and today I'm going to be doing a speed painting of Vicky the fish. So why Vicky the fish? The name I covered in a speed sketch I guess last week which was me sketching this fish going through the thumbnails working out which looks good which looks bad and finishing that off and I actually finished with just the just the fish in the front but looking back at my thumbnails I noticed that there was one of them just stood out to me as looking like super cute so I imported that as the one behind the little little baby fish so I decided to paint both fish just to give it I don't know like a, a bit of a story because it wasn't for a client it wasn't for anything in particular it was just for this channel I just wanted to do a fish really quickly so adding that fish behind it just added a bit more of a nicer element a nicer story so as you can see what I started by doing was working out the local colors I guess so actually the local values the way I work is I tend to take the kind of old oil painting Flemish painting kind of approach which is work on my values first and then go over with the colors so basically I was finding the values or the local values I guess of these fish so the local the word local what it means is the actual color or value without light involved so there's no shadow it's the actual the actual value I guess so how dark it is so I was working that in first working it so the adult fish and the baby fish had their local values then the way that I work is I add in a dark value then I add in a darker value and then I work on the lights and this is like I say it's just the same as the old Dutch Flemish oil painting technique it's just you don't have to wait months for it to dry in between coats so as you can see here I'm working on my first dark layer and what I do I can't remember the exact values that I used on this painting but I'll take a dark color let's say the actual local value of the black stripes I'll take that and I'll have a multiplier layer above my sketch and above everything that that's there then what I'll do is I will set that opacity of that layer to around let's say 40 percent and I'll paint in all my values like that so my darks like where, where the lights not going to be hitting and the transition points between the light or local color transitioning into the darks because I'm gonna hit it a little bit later with the actual darker darks so that's what I do for both the fish just working in those I guess light shadows and they're let's say 40% then what I'll do is I'll place another layer on top set the opacity this time to maybe 60 or 70 percent and i'll go in and work on the even darker points so the the darkest darks in the image so you'll find them like under the gills and under the the bottom side of the fish and pl just places where the the lights is not gonna it's not gonna get this is where reference comes in really handy if you're looking for a more accurate even though it's exaggerated like a more accurate portrayal of the fish or if you're going a bit more stylized and cartoony you can kind of just guess where that is i mean if you've got knowledge of the light is coming from let's say the top right hand side then everything that's kind of on bottom left and things that are turning away from that are going to be darker than others so the way I did it was I used reference for this. I use reference for a lot of my pictures, and I'll I'll make a um, a page which is just basically a collage of different references, and I'll kind of mix and match uh, my favourite. And I, I never stay too close to the reference. In fact, I normally deviate quite a lot from the reference because I like my images to have like a very stylized look to them. So then after having those two layers so everything's basically done on there's the sketch layer then there's the local values then on top of that there's the uh the values uh the local values sorry being the actual how, how they look without light then there is the 
the 40% one, which is the light darks. Then on top of that, there's one that's about 60%, which is the dark dyes, dark darks. Both of these are set to multiply as well. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but they're both set to multiply. And then just kind of go at it, really, and just, just kind of experiment. And the good thing is, when we're working digitally, we've always got that undo button, so you can experiment, play around, and see, see if things work, see if things don't work. Then I'll take a lighter layer, which is basically just sticking highlights and the accents where the, the light is hitting. So obviously that's going to be the points closest to the light source. And I'll just get a, I'll just basically color pick where my lightest light is then I'll go a little bit lighter and then I'm just painting on top of that. Um, generally probably about 80% opacity, uh, maybe even full uh, a lot of the time. And I'll just, I'll just paint on that. And the thing that I do when I'm working on my values and working on everything really is I've got the, the, um, opacity of the actual brush set to pen pressure. So if I'm pressing harder, then it's going to be a darker uh, pigment, I guess. And more pigment is, is going to come out than if I'm pressing lightly and it's going to have a, a lot more opacity to it and be more see-through. So a lot less opacity, sorry. So as you can see just then, there's a little reminder to sign up to my Patreon account. I'm doing this full time now, YouTube, which is uh, scary because I'm just diving in with both feet and I'm just saying no to clients more and more now and just focusing on this because there's going to be new videos coming out Monday to Friday every week then on the Patreon it's basically a subscription site where you can sign up from a little as a dollar a month and there's extra stuff on there there's extra videos and there's early videos and ad free videos and sketch clubs and a ton of a ton of other things on there as well so so yeah, so once I've gone over with my lights, and as you can see, I'm quite clumsy with my edges. I tend not to use masks because they uh, they sometimes have like quite a harsh like edge to them. So so what I'll do is I'll basically just clean it up afterwards with an eraser. And as you can see now, it's all just coming to an end. I'm just basically splodging in some uh, some lights for the ocean and then I think I used a motion blur on it to give it that kind of underwater feel. Then comes the color. So I'm just basically finding colors that I like and then putting them on a color layer, layer on top of everything and essentially just coloring it all in like it, like it's a, like a coloring book for a child. That's as simple as it is. I'm going cooler with the colors in the shadow area, warmer in the highlight areas. The great thing about working digitally and working on that color layer is that you can experiment, play around and just just mess around with the colors. But like I say, I tend to go warmer in the highlights, edging towards the warmer colors and cooler in the shadows, just because it adds a bit more coherence to the image. It's been super fun painting this and sketching this. If anyone's got any suggestions, if you've got any suggestions, just leave of things that you want me to paint in the future, any animals, any caricatures, anything like that, leave them down below in a comment and I will get to that. So here's been my picture of Vicky the fish. So it'd be awesome if you could click the subscribe button down below and have a look at the Patreon account. Come follow me on social networks. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome, awesome week, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. If you want to support me and in turn grab some awesome goodies for yourself, such as early and extra videos and Google Hangouts with me, from as little as a dollar a month, head on over to patreon.com slash I'll see you there.